I've got myself a nice cup of tea because it's not late enough yet to have a glass of wine. So please grab a cuppa, pause this, grab a cuppa. We're gonna make some nice risotto today. And I wanna show you a formula in making the basis, like the cheesecake, making the basis for, for this actually recipe. And I'm just showing you a plain risotto, but then what we can actually do with this, this formula, okay? Uh, you have the recipe. I've chopped some onions, I've chopped some uh, garlic there. Uh, in the in the recipe, I I said is is to put some put some butter through. It's up to you. I mean, like I, I love I, I like a little bit of olive oil through it. Um, I think olive oil is is really nice. It's a bit of knob of butter. That's unsalted butter. You could use salted butter if you want. I actually prefer salted butter, especially this type of dish because it's not a sweet. Um, I'm just using probably two tablespoons of a really nice virgin olive oil. And then I'm just, um, you can just see in there, it's just starting to sizzle now. When that melts, I'll add that, but I'll just chop this onion, see we've got the onions flat. Always keep the onion flat in the board, because if you go like that, it can wobble and you can cut yourself. But if you keep it flat, it's much easier. And when you cut, you cut downwards. Don't cut up, because if you slip, you can go into your hand, all right, which is pretty dangerous. I cut this fine, you don't have to have it that fine, you can have it pretty rustic if you want. But I, I like I like to um, chop it fairly fairly fine, so especially for the risotto, about the same consistency as the actual. You can see there, it's actually nice, just it's melted and sizzling in there. I just gotta throw in the onions, the garlic. I like chili, so these are from my garden. I'm actually adding a fresh chili to mine. They're not super, super hot, but they've got a good bite. It, it, it affects my wife, affects my wife a little bit, but um, I actually love it. Chili. You can add some cayenne pepper to it if you like. So I'm gonna turn it up just one notch. See, that's it's just frying in there. I like that up. Just gonna just, just gonna just brown that just a little bit. I've got some wine which is a Savion Blanc wine. Don't use red wine in this, you know, that doesn't go with it. And we said, we said a third, we said a third a cup of white wine. I like, I like to put maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I, I, I put a little bit in there because, and then um, just, just, just before the rice because I want it just, just to evaporate the alcohol away a little bit, all right? So, which is just, it's just um, sizzling and bubbling really, really nice at the moment. And you see that? It's really good. Once it's just burned off a little bit of that alcohol, I'm gonna add one cup of rice. Now the rice I've got is actually Italiano Azorbo rice, uh, risotto rice if you want. But that there, that's, um, I think it's about 500 grams, I think this. No, it'd be one kilo, it's one kilo. That is one standard measuring cup, which is 250 grams measuring cup. Now I'm just stirring, coating the actual rice in the butter and the oil and the garlic. See that there, it's just cooking really nice. At this stage, I don't want to burn it, so I'm just going to turn it down a bit. I want to add a little bit of seasoning. I've got this. Is, this is Himalayan salt. And this, I'll probably adjust the seasoning. The, the seasoning later on. You can use cracked pepper, ground pepper. This is black pepper, but it's just grounded already, which I just put a little bit in there. Season it. See, it's starting to stick to the bottom already. You can see that it's already taken that liquid away. That's what you want. I think it takes about 30 seconds. I'll just turn it down a little bit again. You can adjust. That there, I'm just using a chicken stock. You can use beef stock, um, veggie stock. I mean, if you want to make your own stock, I mean, that, that's another thing that we could do together, show you how to make a fresh chicken stock, veggie stock, or a beef stock. Um, but I find that this is really nice. Now at this stage, like if I wanted to turn that into a mushroom risotto, I would add and saute the mushrooms off right now and put that in there. If you wanted to add any kind of meat, so that's one cup. 
We're gonna do two and a half cups right on the on the recipe. That's another cup. So two and a half cups of stock, any type of stock. Doesn't matter. You can actually use water if you want to, if you really want to use water, you could use water. I just find these give it a really nice flavour. Flavour it right through. And as you can see, stir that. It's got seasoning. I mean, in that there, if you, if you like fish, you can be just putting little bits of nice cube little bits of fish in that right now. Or some smoked salmon. You can put some smoked salmon in there. Uh, you can actually put some chicken in there. And as we actually put the lid on, it's kind of does a vacuum seal. I've got like a little hole in, in the top in there. But I'm just going to just turn that down on low now. And I'm going to cook that for approximately 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes max, depending on your stove, gas. Like gas cooks really fast, or this is an induction, inductor cooker, uh, which, which is really good. Yeah, it'll probably only take 15 minutes in this. And then, then later on, I'll show you. I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese through it. Also, I don't actually have any, you can actually add a little bit of cream. I've, I've got a little bit of leftover sour cream, probably about half, half in that. I'm gonna add that right at the end when I just season it. Probably won't need to season it, probably because probably it's got enough flavor in that already. Uh, if you do it right from the beginning, you'll find it's great. So as soon as that comes up, I just make that scratch your pan. I just get a fork. When it's ready and I turn it off and I let it rest for about five minutes, I just get a fork and go through it and it just fluffs it up. And that's where I'll put my cheese in, my sour cream. Uh, if you want to put another little bit of knob of butter in there, depends, you know, if you're, like, if you're, if you're into butter there, you can buy nut nut legs, which is a vegan butter. It's really nice, like it's a great winter dish, this. Plus it can accompany, um, you can accompany anything. I mean, you can let this go cold and turn it into a nice, risotto salad tomorrow. You, you can add, I could add rocket to that, I could add baby spinach to that once it's actually settled down. You know, it's pretty much your imagination. You know, like you can add mushrooms to it, uh, meats to it, you can add seafood to it. Uh, you can add uh, tofu, some nice marinated tofu through it. Peas from your freezer, uh, any type of steamed vegetable you can put through. Like if I put carrots in that now, while this is cooking, the carrots would be nice and just just right, just when the actual the the right the risotto is ready. So I hope I hope you um, can learn that, master that. Do it a couple of times in your own kitchen using my recipes that are giving you the formula, and then just do the plain one to start with. If if you're more advanced, obviously you've got this. But if you're more advanced, then um, or just master it a couple of times yourself and then just experiment the following week and then the following week. That's one cup. I mean, that's gonna serve, you know, two people easy. But if you, I, I normally would do with two cups because I, I'll get about half a pot of that because I love leftover um, risotto the next day. I, I find when you let it settle, and get out, it's so nice, all right? And you can use Parmesan, you can use vintage cheese, cheddar cheese. If you love blue vein cheese right at the end, just put a little bit of blue vein cheese on the top and it'll just melt through it.